Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Notes in the Sewing Room, my name's Becky. Today it's my midweek catch-up video, so I've got lots to tell you today about what I've been making so far this week in terms of sewing and craft activities. I'm also going to be telling you a little bit about what I've been doing with my new baby, William, and I'm also going to be telling you about what I'm really looking forward to watching on TV and what I also think you're going to love as well. So I hope you've been having a lovely week, whatever you've been up to so far. For those of you that are interested in what I'm wearing today, I know some of you sometimes ask me in the comment section below. Today I'm wearing a Tilly and the Buttons Frankie Tee, which is from the Make It Simple book. And I'm also wearing a elasticated waist skirt, which I made uh, during my pregnancy actually, but I'm still wearing now, which is good. I don't like to sort of put things in my wardrobe and not wear them if I, if I can help it. So this is a kind of self-drafted pattern. So it's nice and comfortable for everything that I'm doing um, in my life at the moment, being at home a bit more. So we're back in lockdown here in the UK, so I'm not going to go on about that too much because I don't know about you, but it's just people just seem to be talking about it all the time. And I think I come onto YouTube to have a bit of light relief, so I'm guessing you probably do as well. But um, I just wanted to let you know how much I've been enjoying getting out and about at the moment. I know I've talked about it on some of my other videos, so I'm not going to bore you with where I've been and what I've been doing. But what I have done is I filmed a little bit of footage of when I have been out with the pram, just because the colours are so beautiful beautiful at the moment and I just wanted to share that with you and also I wanted to show you kind of the crackle of the leaves when I'm walking along you know with the pram and you know I'm, I'm playing ball with Bentley and everything it's just so lovely out there so just the autumn is just such a beautiful season I think I just love the sort of reds and the oranges and the browns and the trees so hopefully you'll enjoy the little bit of footage that I'm going to put in just to show you and um, where we've been and uh, you know when we've been out and about but William absolutely loves being out in the pram and he just tends to sleep a little bit when we're out so that's uh, that's good news for me particularly if he's been a little bit grouchy when we've been in the house so um yeah, it's, it's good for him to get some fresh air and it's, it's really good for me as well in terms of my kind of physical and mental health, I think. Before I go on and talk about what I've been crafting and sewing this week, I'll just t tell you a little bit about what I've been up to with baby William. So William is now seven weeks old. I can't believe how quick it's actually going. But of course, with the current situation in the UK and in England, there is no baby groups happening. So I've got my name on various lists of things that um, you know I'd like us to sign up to, so I can meet other new mums, but also so that William can meet other babies and you know have that interaction. We are supposed to be going swimming. I think I told you about that before. So hopefully, cross fingers, we're going to be starting that in December. But before then, I wanted to make sure that I was doing as much as I can with William at home. So one of my friends told me about something on CBeebies. It's called the Baby Club, and it's on bbc.co.uk on the on the CBeebies tab if you're interested in having a look. And it's hosted by Giovanni Fletcher. And I absolutely love her. I, I read her book, Happy Mum, Happy Baby, when I was pregnant. And I just really, really enjoyed reading that. She's also got a podcast. And of course, she's going to be in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, which is starting, I think, on the 15th of November, if I'm right in saying that off the top of my head. So I can't wait to... Um, watch that when it's actually on TV. I did post on my Instagram stories the other day that I was interested in watching it and very looking forward to it. And a couple of you have direct messaged me and just said how much you're looking forward to it and who you think your favourites might be as well. So that's really cool. I think so far, even though it's not started, I think Giovanni Fletcher or Vernon Kay are probably going to be the people that I'm watching out for. And I think will probably do really well, but I don't know, we'll wait and see. But the baby group is really good in terms of what, what I found online so far. The, the singing on there, there's ideas of how you should talk and interact with your baby at home there's different sort of baby sensory things that you can do so I've only watched a few of the videos so far but if, if you've got a baby of your own or you know friends or family have, have got babies as well and you know perhaps they're you know missing going to baby groups like like I am then actually I think having a look at, at that baby group that's on the CBeebies tab on on the BBC website is is really excellent and I'm definitely going to be checking out some more and I think William really enjoyed it. So let's talk about what I've been crafting and sewing so far this week. First of all I wanted to give you an update on my bertha cardigan from the Make It Simple book by Tilly and the Buttons and I finally finished it 
and I absolutely love it. So if you've not tried it, I definitely recommend that you, you give it a go. I've made it in a red Ponte Roma fabric, so I'm just gonna slip it on so you can see. It doesn't actually really go with my t-shirt today, but I just think you'll get a bit better idea of the fit and whatnot if I just slip it on to show you. So I have spoken about this in a few of my other midweek catch-up videos. It's a lovely cardigan, so I just thought it'd be better if I just slipped it on so you could see the actual fit of it. So it's got these lovely back wing sleeves if I just hold my arms up here so you can see. It's worked out to be slightly on the longer side than I thought it was going to. It's still cropped, it's not, you know, massively long. I'm gonna stand up in a second so you can actually see the fit of it a little bit more. I'm definitely gonna make another one. I made this in a size three in terms of Tilly and Button sizes, which seems to have worked out quite well for me. Of course, it's not a cardigan that's supposed to close, it's supposed to be this open style. I think if I was to close it, which obviously it's not supposed to, it would be slightly tight around the hip area, but as it's an open style, I don't think it really matters for me. So I am gonna make another one. I'm planning on making that in a cream, sparkly, true knit fabric, which I bought from Crafty So and So. So I've actually cut that out already. So um, I stayed up late um, the other night and uh, you know, just sometimes you want to do something that's a little bit crafty and William has been looked after by his dad. So I just thought I'm gonna use this time to cut out a new cardigan. So that's what I did. So I'll put in a little bit of footage so you can see um, me cutting out that as well. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely cardigan. So I'm just gonna stand up so you can see. So this is the length of it. So it's kind of just around my hip area. It's slightly longer at the front than it is at the back. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It comes together really quickly. Um, not really sure of exactly how long it took me in total, probably somewhere in the region of an hour and a half, which I think it says it would be in the Talina Buttons book as well. So that's fairly accurate really. So, but yeah, I definitely recommend you trying this pattern if you haven't already and you fancy a bit of a cozy cardigan. The Ponty fabric is really warm to wear. I have worn this out and about underneath my coat over the last, um, you know, few days since I finished making it. And I've, I've really enjoyed wearing it. It's, it's really kept my arms nice and toasty in this cold weather that we're experiencing at the moment. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a winner for the rest of the winter season. So I've actually been quite busy this week in terms of the craft stuff that I've been doing. I've been fitting in sort of 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there when William's been napping, or, you know, like I say, if, he, if he's um, in, in bed in the evening, you know, crafting and sewing for me is just kind of an escape and, it's just nice to feel like I'm doing a little bit of something for me as, as well as being a new mum. So I was asked to test out a new pattern for simple sew patterns. And this is something that's gonna be a free pattern and it's gonna be appearing in Love Sewing Magazine. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in the next edition or perhaps the one after that. It's called the Tuck Front Dress. So I'm not quite sure why it's called the Tuck Front because they're actually not tucks that are in the front of the neckline. It's actually darts, um, but I guess, that kind of makes sense. Um, but I've decided to make this in a chambray fabric, which I included on my birthday fabric haul video, which I did back in August. And it's, it's a lovely fabric. I bought it from Higgs and Higgs, and it's got little boat designs all over it. So I will put in a little bit of a, a picture or some video footage so you can see it a little bit more close up. But um, I've not quite finished this yet, but I just thought I'd show you my progress on it. So it's, um, it's a dress which is um, fitted into the bodice, and then it's got an A-line skirt. So I've made this in the body in a size 10 and then I've actually graded out to a size 14 at the hip just because even though it's A-line, it's actually still a little bit narrower than you know I would like it to be. So I, I prefer things on, on skirts that are perhaps very A-line or like a circle type skirt and that kind of thing. So I just thought that it would suit me better if it was you know, slightly uh, more extended at the side seam. So that's what I've done. I've included a, a red, invisible zip at the back and I've just got to put in the facing and then it'll be finished apart from doing uh, the hems, well hem on the skirt and I just need to sew around the cuff area as well. So I'm just gonna stand up so you can see this a little bit better. Like I say, it isn't finished at the moment, but it will come down to around about my knee area when it's actually done. So, um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be quite nice to wear with a red cardigan because there's the, the red detail in the actual boats. I think even my, uh, my brand new Bertha cardigan, I think might work really well with this. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing that one when it's actually finished. So um, I will share some pictures of me wearing it on my Instagram or perhaps I'll show it you again on one of my uh, makes videos here on YouTube as well. So keep a watch out for that one. But so far, so good it's coming together really quickly. Apart from cutting it out, I think it's probably taken me about 
probably two hours in total to, to bring that together so far. So it's a nice quick project in terms of a dress, which is ideal for me because I don't have lots of time at the moment. So that's, um, it's nice to fit in things like I said, sort of here and there whenever I can. A few of you requested after seeing my Christmas gift idea video that you would like a table runner tutorial video. So if you haven't checked that one out already, definitely um, go back onto my uh, other videos and check out my table runner tutorial. I've got a couple of them here on my mannequin just to show you how the different colours can work. Um, I've also got one here to show you as well. I've used a range of different fabrics so um, I won't talk about this too much because I do go into detail on my tutorial video but I've got some Dash Hound fabrics here which I've used so um, I really like that and I think that's probably my favourite. I think I'm going to keep that one for myself but I've really been making these for friends and family for Christmas. I've, I've put in my tutorial that you can make this in an hour including cutting it out and sewing it up so it's a super super speedy project that you can do even if you don't have a lot of time. However, I think if you are an experienced sewist, I think you could get these done in much less than an hour. I can get them done in an, less than an hour because I've made lots of them before. I tend to find that if I've made things previously that actually, you know, I am a little bit quicker at sewing it next time and quicker again the next time I make it. So I've made this one with a sort of Christmas bauble sort of light design on it. And then we've got this one with pugs on it down the sides, uh, lovely doggies, and uh, the lovely spotty design in the middle as well. So you really can play around with the fabrics and uh, experiment however you want to. So I definitely recommend you making a table runner for people for Christmas if that's something that you'd like to do. I have got a few other ideas of quick, speedy, gift ideas that you can do for people for Christmas. So if you would like me to, please do leave me a comment below and I can share those in another video. My previous Christmas gift idea video seems to have been quite popular and I think you've you've enjoyed it. I've had a, some lovely comments on there so far so I really appreciate that so thank you for watching that one. I was thinking about putting together some other tutorials or sew alongs on my YouTube channel so if that's something that you're interested in then please do leave me a comment below and let me know. I know there's lots of other content out there that other people put on in terms of sew alongs and whatnot. I really enjoy recording these videos so if you are interested in me doing a sew along then do let me know. I was actually thinking of possibly doing one for some things that I was planning on making anyway to make it easier for me to film the video. So I was thinking either the Billy jumper, which is the brand new pattern released by Talina Buttons, because I was a little bit naughty and ordered that for myself earlier this week. And um, I've also got the Friday Pattern Company square neck top, which I'm planning on making, but I haven't made that one yet. So that's something else I could potentially do as a sew along. You can make that one in jersey or as a woven fabric. So let me know if you fancy either of those two. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. So let's talk about TV. So what am I looking forward to in terms of TV? If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll probably know that I'm a little bit of a TV addict. Apart from crafting and sewing and baking and that kind of thing in my spare time, I absolutely love to sit down of an evening, nice cup of tea in front of the TV, pajamas on, nice snuggly blanket, and just watch, you know, whatever I want to really on, on, on TV. So one of the things I'm looking forward to is I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. They have announced, ITV have announced the cast this week so feel free to have a look online, check out who's actually going in. This year it's not going to be in the Australian jungle because of travel restrictions etc. So it's going to be in the Welsh countryside and I believe it's going to be taking place in a castle. So I think it's going to be completely different to you know, what we've seen before in terms of I'm a Celebrity. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they've mixed up the different challenges that they have to do and, you know, what kind of experiences people are gonna have because I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty cold for people and that's not something that they normally experience when they're in Australia, of course. I think Ant and Deck are gonna be going in every day to the, to the site where it's being filmed. So I'm looking forward to seeing those two back on the TV as well. So I've kind of missed them since Britain's Got Talent ended. Let me know if you're looking forward to watching I'm a Celebrity. I know it's, it's not been on TV for, I guess, a year or so. So if you've got any favourites so far, then do leave me a comment below. I do love to hear uh, what you're thinking. So let's talk about Strictly. Strictly Come Dancing is still on TV. I am loving it. I don't know if you've watched Movie Week. Movie Week is one of my favourite episodes of Strictly and it didn't disappoint. The costumes are amazing. I really loved Harvey and Jeanette. I thought their costumes and gnomes were amazing. I thought Bill and Caroline are still doing fantastically. The CGI, you know, 
animation that they've got going on there at the moment is just amazing like it's so different to what they've done before and I just feel like they've really pushed out all the stops this year to uh, make it as exciting as possible even though they've not got that live audience and they, they've had to sort of change the, the rest of the format of the show. I think Caroline particularly is just such a beautiful dancer and she just seems to be, really be embracing the experience and Bill I couldn't believe Bill this week when he took part in movie week I just thought you know he, he's just so light on his feet and really graceful as he dances don't know why I'm putting my arms up like this I'm not really dancing but yeah he's just amazing so let me know if you've got any particular favorites on Strictly this year I am missing some of the previous um, professional dancers that aren't on it this year like AJ although he's going into I'm a celebrity I guess um, and Kevin's not on it this year and a few of the other female dancers are different as well but the professional dancers again don't don't disappoint on, on this year's series that they're all doing an amazing job and I just find it so um, in, inspiring how they take these people who don't have any dance experience and then they just you know train them up and each week they're all learning a different dance and you know in some cases they actually look like they could be professional dancers as well so I wish I could dance like that and um, imagine just getting fit kind of being on TV in front of you know all these millions of people as well it's just such an amazing experience now apart from those things I've found this week there's not really been that much on TV that I've wanted to watch so we've actually gone back through our DVD collection even though people don't tend to watch DVDs anymore, we do sometimes. I know that's probably a little bit old fashioned these days, but we picked out Back to the Future. So we are huge Back to the Future fans and we've really enjoyed watching that. So, so far this week we've watched Back to the Future 1 and Back to the Future 2 and maybe this weekend coming we're hoping to watch the third one as well. So William's actually been watching it with us as well. So it's his first experience of watching Back to the Future. So I hope that when he's older we can tell him all about the different characters and you, you know all the different sort of years that they travel back to and or, or forward to actually and um, hopefully he'll enjoy it as much as we do. Do you enjoy watching old films like Back to the Future? I know that's not too old, I guess it was filmed in the 1980s, but it is one of our favourites. I'd love to hear if you've got any recommendations of, you know, new or older films that you think I'd enjoy watching and uh, maybe I can check those out as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching what I've got to tell you about today. If you have, please do hit that like button. I really do appreciate all of your support here on my channel. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe as well, just to keep up to date with all of my latest content. But until next time, I'm gonna leave it there and say, see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.